All right, guys, welcome into another Squad Ops event. Today we have a One Life campaign mission. Uh, this is day three of the Northern Route campaign. It's U.S. versus Russia on Scorpo. Uh, I believe we're going to have Russia acting first today. Uh, if you're not familiar, the campaign is a little bit more like a... Uh, Uh, what would you say? It's a little bit more like a, uh... It's got a strategic level to it than a standard operation would. Standard operation is all about, usually all about tactics. Whereas campaign will have an element of strategy. Um, looking at the current campaign map, uh, from last session, uh, South Euskadalen was taken by U.S., which means U.S. actually have a foothold in Zone 1. U.S. is winning by... I think U.S. have the lead by three zones at this point. Two zones is the overall U.S. gain, actually, from the beginning of the campaign. U.S. had started with... Uh, four in zone zero, and Russia had three in zone zero. Uh, Russia has not taken an objective. U.S. have taken two objectives. Uh, so from day one of the campaign, uh, U.S. took Hill 304. In day two, U.S. took South Euskadalen. Russia's taken nothing. So the road to Russia HQ uh, is still uh, at least three objectives deep. Uh, at this point, US, to get to Russia HQ, to fight over Russia HQ, U.S. is going to need uh, to take either North Uskadalen or Camp Vodka. Then they have to take Hill 256. And then there's a... Uh, a long path and a short path from Hill 256. They either have to take Farmstead. Which puts them in Zone 2. Or they can continue to Odin's Peak. And then... Utgard. After Farmstead and Utgard, it's just the HQ. It's a long road for Russia. However... They have to take an objective in zone zero. And they actually have to get into zone one. U.S. have plenty of options. Russia doesn't really. So. Based on the rules. Uh, Russia is. Based on the rules, you can only attack forward from zones to zones. I don't think there's actually a rule where you can attack backwards. Like, I don't think from Pavel's Ridge you can attack South Uskadalen. For Russia. Anyway, Russia is going to go first today. Not sure about their loadouts. Uh, we started the stream a little early. But, uh... I'm sure we'll have something figured out soon. Um... From all indications, however, we are getting it. Looks like we are going to get a Russian attack on South Uskadalen. Um, from Hill 256. See markers for Hill 256. There's a logic driving that way. Uh, and we are going to see South Uskadalen in play as indicated on the map. Lawn darts commanding Russia today. Uh, we've got Kugel, Killer J, Bao, Zaki, and Blackbeard, or Nakba. It's not wearing his tag for some reason. Or maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Anyway. Alright guys, welcome to day three of uh, Campaign Northern Route. Um, we're attacking this round. Our missions be straightforward. We want to take back uh, what was taken from us in the last round, uh, specifically South Uskadalen, which is in October 
13. It's got a big red circle around it on your maps. There's a uh, fob radio there we need to uh, destroy and kill all US forces in that particular AO. In order to uh, achieve that, we'll obviously be starting from this location. Squad 1's going to uh, be taking a, um, a Tiger and the Logi truck and heading to uh, a location approximately in Popper 12, looking to set up a base of fire. We get uh, two HMG plus the uh, Tiger they have. Um, I'm hoping, despite the fog, we'll get some locations there to be able to shoot um, down onto where I'm going to put the helicopter markers. The idea is to uh, provide some sort of base of fire for our assault squads. Our assault squads are going to be squads 2 and squads 3. Uh, they'll be heading on foot, um, not uh, running straight down the mountain to our southwest, but heading a little bit northwest. Uh, I'll put some helmet marks just in case, you know, I don't want anyone breaking an ankle before the, uh, the shit really hits the fan. Uh, you've got a bit of a walk ahead of you, um, but plenty of time to, to get your head straight because once you get down to the Poplar 13 area, I would expect you to start uh, being in harm's way and you will be the first squad to try and bridge the town. Um, squad 1 will be your base of fire. Squad 4 will be taking the other Tigers, going to head off and get a um, secure zone in Poplar 13-3 and they're going to be doing that awaiting 2 and 3's uh, arrival. So Squad 2 and 3, Krugel and Killer Squad's are definitely the star of this show. Uh, a lot is on uh, you guys and your early efforts. Once you breach across into those buildings west of uh, your markers on the map, you know, go ahead and harden up in a building, uh, fortify it, and we'll try and get the other squads uh, up to you so they can uh, then bound past you. At that stage of the operation, not a lot I can do as command. It's going to be on the squad leads and the fire team leads and you guys individually to start uh, clearing buildings, clearing the streets, locking stuff down, communicating where the enemy, you know, main base slash radio is located and hopefully uh, win the day. Very hard assault, but a lot of it will fall down to, uh, to your guys, um, you know, initiative and your balance of action. Any questions? Um, could you please repeat the squads that will be doing the initial push again? Squads two and three. You'll be on foot from our standing location here, so you have plenty of time to get your head straight. Squad four is going to be taking the tiger and they're going to set up an advanced uh, secure zone for you. Um, it's potentially, you know, uh, possible the US will uh, try to flank this. So four is there to stop uh, stop that happening, so two and three can focus squarely on the objective. Uh, question: Do we know if they're going to be set up like Q13 or like yeah Q13 buildings that area? Do we know if they're going to be there? Or or will they all be centered around that red circle? Uh, they'll likely have forces starting uh, in and around October 13. Uh, once life's called, they can uh, move out. Um, there's potential to have uh, reinforcements who could then um, you know, hit us from any direction. Okay, so we don't know if they're going to be by those buildings or not. <laughs> yeah, I would expect you'll probably start to take contact by the time you get down to those um, two and three markers on the map. Hopefully not, but uh, probably. Question. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, what do we do if chain of command breaks down? Uh, keep on assaulting the town, October 13, trying to group up the nearest friendlies. In terms of the actual chain of command, uh, Blackbeard's 2 IC, and then we're going to go in squad leader order. So squad 2, 3, squad 4, and then um, it'll be up to individual fire team leaders who you know, inherit command to uh, con take control of their surroundings and win the day. All right, guys. Let's um, let's get set for live. Um, um, don't have too long. Let's let's get set for live. Any other questions? Um, funnel them through your squad leader. Make sure you have fun, and we do have a second round. All right, let's uh, let's Copy play things out. Thank you, Londo. As if on cue, uh, and we're live with round one of today's campaign mission. Two squads moving out on foot. I think there's going to be one that's rolling separately. Oh no. Why did he jump out? Why is there a vehicle flipping? Oh my god. I 
All right, let's just watch this thing and see if it flips, because let's be hilarious. They're trying to rush to get down here. They don't need to rush so much. Now you want to try and get to your location uh, as swiftly as possible. <laughs> and they flipped the Lodgy. <laughs> Yeah, we can bump you, right? Yeah, bump them. Do you rate them? Bump them. Bump them. Bump them. Here, let me get in the driver's seat, Lego. I said bump them. Let me get in the driver's seat. 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 Let me get in the speed. Do it, do it. Ramming speed. Jeez. Ramming speed. Time is of the absence. Make it fast. So it's not a bump. It's a... It's a hit. Yeah, you need to. You need to punch. punch. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. We've got some discoordination happening. is less than desirable. Yeah, we got stuck on a ridge. We're good to go now, but it delayed us about thirty seconds. All right, probably look to drop in uh, east of your marker by maybe up to three hundred meters uh, until you poke your nose in there. All right, so Russia tried to rush, and it didn't work. 13, as train dictates. Uh, what are these guys over here? Looks like they're all on foot. So these are the reinforcement squads. Looks like just more engineers. Seen engineer heavy defense being used here. One squad along the road, two squads. One of those under strength here. I don't think this is like a real squad, right? Uh, yeah, so two under strength squads going up the hills, two full squads defending the point, plus one running up the hill, running up the road. Oh, that would be actually a really smart idea. Yeah. Sting and move type sort of stuff. Don't stay there too long. So I believe the idea is to put a base of fire somewhere around here. Given the fact that this is an elevated position. I mean, this could work. I wonder if there's any other roofs that they can use. Maybe they, if they really wanted to, they could put one inside looking out. It's not this one, it's this one. Oh, go right. Just go, just keep going, keep going, keep moving. Don't stop. I really hate the Never way stop. to... Right turn now. Go right here, go right here, go right here. I think we have contact on the road. Left or right side. You're gonna follow this road. Just follow this road. Keep going. Oh, is this bridge working? I wonder if this bridge is working. We're gonna follow this tiger real quick. Hooking left. Keep going. We're going across this little bridge Can here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, we need to get up this hill, west so you're going west, left, and then to watch, right around uh, that curve. Coming around the warehouse to your west. This is really strong location, great use of this tier, uh, assuming it doesn't flip trying to get up the hill, because that would be bad. See anything? Post up in there. Russia almost set to really begin their assault. Squad 4 is moving south. 2 and 3 getting ready to get to their assault positions. The rest of the U.S. forces you can see here in red are going to be sweeping the hillside probably to get better position. Better eyes on anyone attacking from the plane. 
because there are spots where this opens up down here but there's not a lot of them a lot of the trees in the way the rush is actually using to get in position here so this may not benefit them in the long run but uh i think it's still a pretty strong approach and they are keeping it pretty wide down here Probably going to be starting to hear contact reports soon. I imagine U.S. is definitely going to start opening fire on first sight. Got Bob the Builder. It's got an AR pointed in the correct direction. It's got an FTL trying to find targets with Binox. And from here, we can see Bear Ass hiding behind some bales. Alright, Charlie, quick cover. You got any uh, preference on where this goes? Keep looking west, northwest. Uh, we got people looking like southwest. A, you know, I believe this is part of Killer's assault squad. And the shots have begun. I believe that's the Tiger. The Tiger killed two already! Alpha Guido's dead! That's the squad lead in charge of defense. Oh, the Tiger position he already paying off. I think I saw more on the far left side of that compound, maybe. Yeah, I do. One six five. Look at how they've built this compound. He's everything. That. Oh, we're getting shot at. Get out of the gun. Get out of the gun. Command, go for three. Go for three. I think the gunner just got shot. Lego, or uh, you still alive? Yeah. yeah, I'm good. Somebody just got shot. It was Richer. Lodgy back. Or pull the truck back. We're going to reposition. Oh, and kill her. Alright, I'll go get out. I need heals. That sucks. <laughs> what a great engagement from the Tiger. Lodgy trucks. Roughly October 13th, 5-6. It was a great call from Londarts to use the island. The island is definitely in play for him. And now we have an AR built firing up here. Although I think his spotter was just killed. AR fires zipping in on Zaki here. GL a little short. Very low, very low, very low. That 150, 150, 150 meter, just 150 meter. Zanky trying to talk these guys into the correct range for their GLs. All right, nice, all right. Slow down yeah, on GLs. One, one, one. You're good on GLs. CK Outrage in a separate position is smoked off, but he's still able to fire a little bit. And now Bob the Builder, sorry, that's Fob the Builder. Four daddy, I don't want you to get down, get down. Six GLs already. We, you don't have unlimited ammo. Oh, they're looking to build an HMG position here. So that's why Killer's trying to sit here. Yeah, so we're the yeah, saw doesn't delete us. They're in range, right? Yeah, this is an HMG position in range. Salty got pinged. Where's All he has is concealment. I need this PKM laying down fire. I am. Now, the big problem is, it's going to be U.S. making this counterattack, and they're pushing blindly into Russian forces trying to secure their step-off position for this assault. Watch your spacing. I don't think they have any idea what's going on here. There's a lot that's already moved forward to try to hit the, this rear Russian force. Matter of fact, I do believe these Russians are now getting shot. Saint gets pinged by Efank. 
outside. Uh, Saint Fred. is hurt. I gotta time. get him up. I'm getting out. He's hurt. 200. Russians with GLs, very strong. Zero minus. Zero minus. No fear. There are U.S. soldiers up the road. Just south that building, yes. Let's smoke, smoke. <laughs> what was that? Great thinking there. Meanwhile, it does look like we have someone running in. It's a U.S. soldier pushing towards Charlie Foxtrot and Kaiko time. They're stuck behind this house because this uh, rock formation looks like another U.S. soldier has gone down. RPG shot may have been fired towards the Tiger just then. Zaki on the, uh... Oh, never mind, he's not there anymore. I believe that's the first Russian casualty out of this entire action so far. I could be wrong about that. Might be seen the second here. Charlie got caught out. U.S. forces pushing on his level. James Simpson gets shot in the side. Hanu runs up and just executes Charlie Foxtrot, though. He's stuck out of position. Why are the rest of his guys down here? Slater gets killed by Jet, but can't make the trade with uh, Lil Joe. Contact. Kaiko time gets killed. Uh, I think that was uh, Zuba. Zuba ends up bleeding out. Think Zero knows Hanu's over here to his right. Oh, and he gets shot from his left. It looked like. Kind of hard to see where the bullet ricochet came from. May have come from Hanu. We'll try. You at uh, Russia now using lats against static positions here, trying to hit outrage. Outrage still using that uh, corner window there to any sort of effect. Oh, Fob just got hit twice and he goes down. Baz wounded again. He might bleed out from that GL. Nope, he's a medic, so he's pretty good. The main... Uh, pain point for Russia here is going to be this uh, blockade. They have to go around it or go through the minefield. Rappo. Oh, War Daddy gets killed. Oh, that was the GL. That sucks. I think Russia only running one GL per squad. Oh, now this is a good position. Sandbox. I don't think he's fired yet. Little does he know there's a minefield in front of him. Getting a little reset on action here. U.S. 
not really having progress very far southeast. Basket of Puppies goes down. Bob Ross is just dead. I've got pretty good uh, eyesight of this whole little valley here. He certainly does. We're going to check over here. The Tiger was rolling around. Eagle Zeppelin is pinning down. Looks like the squad. As Frank goes in. Frank goes too far. All right, Command, we got a full report of uh, a full squad in Papa 1459. They were flanking us. Right now, Legend. Papa 14, Did that for you? Oh. Copy, yeah, that was a full squad. At least that was a Uh-oh, that's not... that's... not good. I think he just got his vehicle stuck. Although, he's probably just using it as a weapons platform at this point. AR fire now picking up lots of AK fire picking up for Russia here. Sandbox Devotee and Chief Chano have started firing. They actually don't know it yet, but they have a great pos they have a great chance to maybe put some bullets in the side of Slicetron. Of course, they don't really they're not really going to have that information because the window is closed on them. Fourteen kills for Russia, ten for U.S. All told. Why am I here? I died. I think. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, two and three. Are you ready to uh, push across into the town? To your west? I don't know what happened there, but we'll take it. Three's ready. Russia getting ready. Here comes the smoke. I don't know how I died. Bravo is I think I ran into the mine in admin cam and it killed me. There wasn't a mine over here though, so I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Watch my tracers window. 240, okay. there was a guy in that. Smoke will be landing here in the next 20 seconds. This is going to be the big push for Russia. All, there's no AP mines down south here, so... Depends on what Killer wants to do. If he pushes across this field, he's going to run into some mines. Smoke barrage is real. They need to move now. Tiger is going to get itself stuck if it drives down that cliff. Here comes the big push. They're going to push across the field. We're going to see some mines happening. Minor casualties already racking up as these guys push across. The smoke is real. It's a great dispersion pattern, and it looks like they're avoiding the field for the most part. They're pushing straight into the structures. Yuri might have shots on these guys soon. Snake Spear dead. Lil Joe wasn't prepared for Yuri, though. Kugel heard him inside the building. I'm healing myself. Behind 
Right. Sounds like a grenade just got thrown. It was. Enemies close. Roger. Oh, they're pushing across the field. Oh, Estrellas and Barras are brave. Plus, their mines up here too. All these mines are still here. I think they ran into a toe popper already. Morgan gets zipped from somewhere. I think he got zipped by the cheese man. Oh god, there's one right here in front of me. Yeah, don't go over it. Nakba dead. Chief Chano is gonna bleed out. Yeah, he's bleeding out. Oh, he almost got the animation off. Oh, grenade from Razor. A grenade killed Razor, I think. I don't think that was a mine. But that just obliterated the entire element. Meanwhile, the Russian push is gone. Where did all these guys go? And I lost my kill count. Thanks. Bow is dead. What are these guys doing? Are they just... Richard, we got moved out of your team for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, I think that's because... Oh, yeah, because I took over squad lead. Ron, you'll need to start looking at uh, assaulting. That's not good, though. Russia just lost all their guys. I thought there were a lot more Russians alive than there were. There are Russians across the river. There's a there's a lot more U.S. though, so this is like another fail for Russia. Russia can't catch a break this campaign. They're gonna go zero and three, unless they're able to really pull themselves together. But I mean, the numbers aren't there. There's so many defenders still up. Barass somehow surviving in mind land. For perspective, all the skull and crossbones you see on the screen are more than likely AP mines. Uh, you can see a couple of them right here. They're pretty dangerous. Yeah, what up, homie? And they are pretty small. Watch out with those. Oh, Yuri and Ch Chaifa get hit by mortars. Jackson and H old Hagney Killer are also dead. Mortar Salvo kills four. That's pretty good. Lon is pushing up and he just gets killed by Slice trying to groovy in the window. In the window. Yeah. yeah. Might be a guy in the building here. Yeah, in the south. Oh, this might be a yeah, yeah. Oh, yep, look at that. Oh, mine. Oh, the vehicle drove over a mine. Goon 6 got blown out of the turret position. Richard just hit an AP mine. mine 6 1 hits a mine. I have hey, what's going on, 61? It's terrible to put. Don't push through the beach. They have sandbags with covers. It's impossible to shoot them. <laughs> yeah, they also have a lot of apparently AP mines because I just stepped on one and survived somehow. Yeah, the whole coast is full of mines. They're in a bad position, Russia. With command dead. There's an element over here south of the river. Or, yeah, south of the river. I wonder what these guys are doing. They're going to find a support by fire position. They need to get in this fight. Another mine goes off. Richer and 6-1 uh, hurt again. <laughs> At least they have a medic. Alright, so Russia is going to end up taking their time because they're pushing through a minefield here on the coast. Meanwhile, 
They don't have the numbers to make this assault really effective. That was a US soldier hitting a mine there. I think they're trying to add AP mines now. That could be what is happening here. Frederick actually hurt. Another mine goes off in 6-1 and Richard are dead. Oh no, the vehicle exploded. They were killed by the explosion. <laughs> oh no. Lego's all by himself on the coast. Uh, Xandros gets a shot in the back. I think Eagle Bits might have, might have caught Eagle Zeppelin make a shot at him. The loss of command comms is pretty bad for Russia at this point. I think they. I don't know who's Toaster's talking to. I think he might be trying to talk in squad. Uh, I believe U.S. or sorry, Russia now at five remaining. There's three or. Uh, five. I think Lil Joe is dead. Lil Joe just, just got hit. I think Eagle's still trying to harass him. Lego actually made it. <laughs> he's surrounded, though. And he's still... Actually, he's kind of home free at this point. There are no mines past this position. But well, where does he go from here? Forward has him dead to rights from this balcony. And there's all the fortifications that actually have the camo netting. You can see Baz right there. Uh, the cheese man is looking more north. Rex also has a shot from here. Utopian might have a shot. Someone just took a snipe at Lego, by the way, just now. He got hit again, twice, and a third time he goes down. Someone's digging. Looks like the other forward guy got killed. Uh, just Toaster, Audacity, Saint, and Freestalker. And the three of those guys, the last three guys, are uh, still south of the river. Trying to make their play. Toaster is just frozen in fear, I think. He doesn't know what to do. Toaster may have seen Eagle in the opposite building. Eagle freaking killing. I don't know how many kills Eagle has, but he's got a lot. And that is the main push gone. It's just three guys across the river now. Um, who are, I think, potentially in danger of moving out of the zone. They have to move north from here. Pretty sure the event admins are going to tell these guys to stop moving west. Uh, mainly because there is a rule that defenders can't leave the zone they're engaging. Or sorry, the attackers can't leave the zone they're engaging once they've entered it. This would technically be leaving zone 1 to enter zone 0. But I think what they want to do is actually go all the way over and use the uh, island chain to hop in. I guess they're allowing it. It just means we're going to take a little bit longer until we hit the next round here. Nobody from US is watching behind. Ooh, 
Woo, woo, lads. Actually, maybe small burrito? No, he's looking east. These guys are putting more sandbags down. U.S. with a strong two-squad showing here for the win. Wait, is Jackson in it? No, Jackson save. Oh, Jackson's in spectator. Audacity, Saint, and Freestalker make it towards the island, the uh, the little shore chain here. It's the shoal. I guess that's how you call it. You call it a shoal. Uh, let's take the U.S. positions. Burrito is looking towards the islands now. He's gonna... He might see these guys. He might have seen these guys already if he was watching south. Here they come. Alright, let's see. Does anyone watching this position? Uh, we got Slippery Doug here. Slippery Doug. You can probably see them. I wonder if you can shoot from here. He's got friendly help. It's Frederick over there. I think... I, I think Doug has eyes on these guys. Why isn't he shooting yet? Why isn't he shooting yet? Why isn't he shooting yet? Someone started shooting. Freestalker gets tagged. And he dies, so two make it across. Keep pushing these, keep pushing these, keep pushing these. Wanna displace, displace, go east. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna send some, uh, fuck. Oh, yeah, they're gonna send some fuck. Yeah? That is a correct assessment. There's sandbags here on our left. There are deeds. Might be worth, I don't know, because we'll if we stay here, we'll get caught from across the river and down it. Eagle Zeppelin. Right. Uh, for whatever reason... Oh, fuck, stalker's down. I didn't even... Ah, oh, fuck's sake. No, he went, he went down on the water. He's a shot on all of them. Yeah, I mean, we obviously can't see what he's seen, and he may have been ordered to hold fire until he had support. Oh, it. look, Slippery Doug. Shot in the back. Move. Yeah, I think Walrus is right here. I don't think, like, th the curse of Admin Cam is we get to see more than what the player sees. Audacity just got zipped by Eagle Zeppelin at, like, 150 meters. And now it's all down to Saint. So we're going to follow Saint until he dies, which is probably going to be pretty soon, because he can only push along this wall for so long. Like I was saying, Walrus is right. We, do, we obviously can't see what he's seen. Uh, and the wall may have been preventing him from getting, from being able to aim down sights at those guys. There's probably a few ways he could have gotten around it. I think that hedgerow he can stand on. And then there's always the possibility of building sandbags at the side of the uh, the wall so you can stand on it. You can crouch on top of the sandbag and give yourself at least partial cover while you can engage over top of the wall. Slice Trout and Groovy moving pretty close to his southeast. Thanks to the rain, he's not going to be able to hear him. As he continues moving up, though... And now he's going to double back. Uh, what is Saint going to do here? Saint 
Slice and Groovy have the right idea moving towards that sound. Just Buddy Pairs moving for uh, US at this time. Yeah, same as, uh, same as Fishing saying, thinks US is a solid win. Yeah, man. Two squad plus margin of victory. Small Burrito gets killed trying to jump a wall. And Saint jumps his own. He's moving in. Oh my god, Silent is going to end up trading for the win here with Saint. And that is going to do it for round one of today's action. How many smoke right, garages guys, does welcome, Mayhem have? Welcome back to Operation uh, whatever campaign. Um, nice. For day three, uh, round two. Good job, everybody. Uh, that was a really good hold uh, in our first round. So um, this time we will be attacking Camp Falka. I will Need have more. three squad in the middle doing a line formation, pushing eastward, uh, southeast slightly. Squad, uh, squad three will be on the north side on the river bank. Once the main platoon, the three squads start engaging from the west side, um, squad three will sort of go you know, along the river bank, try to hide and try to hit them from straight north. And then squad four will be setting up a hat with me on the southern ridge. And he, once I once I set up the hat, I will be able to call in some asset and also the HMG and start suppressing the enemy from the position. Meanwhile, squad four will push straight east to the uh, to the point, uh, not to the point, straight east from from the half, and then try to flank around to the east side, ideally east side of the enemy position. Plan is simple, so three squad in the middle, one squad to the north, one squad to the south for flanking. Um, roof engagement, basically call contact, um, and ask your, fire, ask your squad whether you can fire. If you're being fired up on, just return fire. Um, any question? What assets uh, does command have? How many smoke barrages? <laughs> Utopian checking. Smoke and two motor. Sounds good. Alright. Immediately forgot to plan. <laughs> Hello, have fun. Sound. Yep, there we go. And the platoon runs away. IC will be Matt Honcho, and then I'm just too lazy. I'll just go down the list. One, three, four, five, six. Do we need this about oh, okay. All right, let's take a look and see what the Russians are up to. Oh, an immediate squad being sent south is the command element. <laughs> Lawn darts. Line Arts wants no shenanigans happening on his south flank here. Oh man, wouldn't it be great if Line Arts just ran straight for the position and ambushed these guys setting up the radio? Actually, I don't think they can. Yeah, the ridge is outside their movement zone. So all they could do is set up camp here. Oh, they're going to move down? Oh, see, that's so smart. If the HMG gets set to the northeast, they might not be able to swing to the right here. Rather, if the HMG is setting up pointing northeast, they might not have the ability to swing a right and hit these guys on the hill. So, oh, nice and D. Very cool. Uh, right, so the zones are restricted so that you can't move out of the zone you're defending. So zone one actually stretches all the way down to this south hill. 
So that's the restriction they're operating under. So that all they could do is go down south. So I think that's pretty pretty spicy. Reinforcement squads coming in from um not sure what this is called. Uh Farmstead. The Two squads of reinforcement coming over from Farmstead, filling in the south gap between command and the rest of the defense. I imagine these guys aren't really going to go anywhere. U.S. now within two map grids of the zone on foot. Lodgy still taking its time to get uphill. Let's go check out these guys on the riverbank. Reinforce squads moving on them before they can reinforce. So the faster we can do that, the better. And then we'll temper that with concern about reinforcements hitting us. We'll wait for that when we cross that bridge. Yeah, try not to show yourselves over the riverbank too much as well that's how we get spotted and how we die how about we crouch run how about you crouch run they're a little far away to be worrying about that but i mean i i admire the caution meanwhile the the exact lack of caution from frost here running point for his squad Closing in to about a grid square away. Uh, although they are now waiting on... Their, I guess they're going to reform the line here. And then they're going to push in. Uh, they might also be waiting for... Uh, the Lodgy is now off-road trying to negotiate the uh, forest up here. Jackson driving as best he can here. Uh, the two reinforcement squads going to slot in directly to their east. And command has observation on the south hill. Yeah, I don't know about that, guys. <laughs> I would stop climbing now. I would, I would use, I would maximize the, uh, the dark color. They're trying really hard to climb the mountain. <laughs> they're getting, they're failing pretty bad. God, what if they died trying to climb the mountain? That would suck. Morgan gets the right idea and finally realizes, oh, dark background. I can be here now. can see the uh, Russian reinforcements moving pretty quickly the west. They are going to be limited by their advance. U.S. line stacking up very nicely. Lodgy's almost up the hill. AR position could actually be really good if they put it, like, right here. They could just spam the HMG from here. Although the Russians are getting really close, now close to within one grid, the two reinforcement squads. Behind the ridge so I don't get shot. Problem is they can't really advance, although they are advancing still. You poking your head out is one thing. Uh... I know it's not the most glorious job. Just following orders, sir. Uh, let me check here. Limit of advance. Ooh. They may have passed it already. Whoa, what's that explosion? Sounds like it all the way back at spawn, so... Hey, 
Enemy infantry spotted. Approximately pop of fifteen six three. One times individual. Yep, and they have eyes on the defense already. Oh boy, we actually have people all the way in here. US are advancing. I haven't heard anything over comms. And uh, repeat grid is pop of fifteen six three. Basket of puppies have pushed past War Daddy. War Daddy is still looking east or west. He's got binocs out. He didn't have his weapon out. Negative, Papa 15, 6, 3. Papa 15, copy. If War Daddy looks around, video, uh, War Daddy's still pushing past. The line is intermixed here. What is this guy doing looking behind him? Radpo about ready to get destroyed. No, Efink doesn't see him! about 75 meters Efang backs himself into Bradpo and uh Efang GL is dead. Big laugh. Grenade being thrown. Yeah, Alpha T wait, no, that was old. There's big intermixing here. Razor has no idea how close he is to these guys. Grenade goes through, small burrito eats it, and is dead. US gets stuck on the hillside. Oh, look at this. This is this is brutal. Yeah, they're on some down. Northern guys are actually making a strong push here. They're it looks like they're coming through undefended, although HMG just turned towards them. One, I got contacts close to my southeast. Much better. GL's firing. Yeah, I have contact close to my east, southeast as well. Saint on the HMG might not have the best field of fire here. Actually, he does have a pretty good field of fire to his right, maybe. He's on asset because I can't yes. cannot find the flash spot. Fuck. Alright, do it, Command. You should be able to place it now. Oh, GL. Or some sort of grenade just killed Razor and Bear Ass. Let me know when it's placed and I'm going to turn Brutal. it Brutal. Wasn't a TK, so it was Blue 4 Grenade. Give me a second. I'm trying to find somewhere flat. The trade is not good right now. Directly 1 5. Although Russia winning 4 to 2. It is still pretty early going. Sandbox might have peaked. Seen Matt Honcho. Yeah, Squad 3 definitely passed the limited advance. Alright. War Daddy, he's still alive. No, he dies. I jinxed him. Cheese Man, and I think uh, Silent just executed him. Yeah, we saw him at the same time. I'm pretty sure he's dead. War Daddy just stuck in a bush, I guess. Uh, there's still one whole squad of reinforcements still behind. Do you want six to open up so three and five can move in? Needs to happen. Someone needs to open up. No, I can't find a flat spot. Ooh, basket of puppies. He's a lat and he's dead. Uh, looks like we got shots north now. MMG firing into the tree line. Looks like this is just like wild suppression. Oh, wait, covering. That's not an MMG at all. No, it is. No, it's not. Watch that return fire. Tigers, this place if you need to, James. M M M this place U.S. line is pretty stretched out here. Too many people off the push. On the southeast road. Enemy vehicle getting called out here. I don't think they realize it's just an HMG in placement. Honda Hunt's got most of his squad ready to push from the north side here. 
Indeed. This could be good. My previous position. Be advised, there's an unbuilt enemy contact, fortification uh, as well. Northeast side, Quebec 1556, two enemy KIA. Copy. They can spot the fortifications from here. Man, we're taking heavy shots down here. We're gonna need three and six to maneuver on the north. We're gonna have a hard time pushing from here. Copy, do it. Ooh, GL hit Supreme Vic. Another GL would kill him. Four, do you have anywhere I can place a hat? I cannot find a single spot here. Yeah, Razor, you walked right past your limit and uh, was straight walked up on those guys. I'm sure we'll hear about it in the after action. I guess they're soft boundaries, but still, like, it's kind of it's kind of a rough position. You're really, yeah. I'm away. Yeah, the limit is like P15. It's like the right side of this grid. Maybe the center part of this grid, but still. Three status. Hard. We need you to push south and stop flanking. U.S. losing people. Because Blackbeard Squad is just holding the position. If you're gonna be Six flanking, you need to expedite. But you're taking way too long. Copy. The original plan. Oh, that was a last shot. Into a tree. Copy. The uh, Russian defenders. This looks more coordinated than it is. These guys. I don't even know what these guys are doing. They're just sitting here. They're just holding for this command element. Command element can't put down a hab for whatever reason. Command assets require the hab. Lamau. Oh, look, he found it. Uh, it's bad. Only a squad sized force down. They're like a fire team sized lead. Oh, Mr. Toaster on the HMG finds bread. Forward suppressing the uh, transmission line. ARs going up against the HMG. Lighting. I see, I see entries. Baron. Zupa found Freestalker. Getting shot. Zupa got his G. He's got GLs. He's got to be careful with that. He's to keep those geos alive. Enemies. All the way past. Oh no, the Americans pushed into a field. Oh. Lamau! Multiple kills with the mortar! I think that was three dead from the mortar. If they only knew these guys were so close. Goon just got killed. Goon trade with Lil Baby? Score for double time to the southern position of the enemy location. Maybe Chaifa? Yep, they're taking their time. They're getting engaged from some. Copy. They're pushing this base of fire. You think you're in a good spot to push? We can try to lay down smoke on the point and then try to push up. I think we've got them on the back foot over here. I think they've abandoned their MGs. We're ready to assault when, when you call it out. Uh, Someone tell their FTO to stop marking with helmets. Six, let's hold. You and I are in a good spot. Let's wait to see if four can push up as well as three. 
copy that. We can hold. Three, could you adjust your Charlie Fire team position and get ready to assault, to set up assault? Toaster's got a great field of fire here. If these guys come up over the out of these trees, they're goners. Bread's already been shot from this position, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so this is squad four here. There are squad three. We're going to be maneuvering, trying to push... Uh, and as I say that, Bread gets lit up. From the east. I get the rest of my squad here. Copy. Get, get in a good position. We'll push all together with five and six. Let me know when you're ready. Russian massing for defense. They got a lot of they got a lot of AP mines on this base. Meanwhile, command is just chilling on the mountainside, doing his thing. Russia still the fire team size advantage. It's hard to push down the hill down to the point. Could you maneuver north? Could you maneuver north and push with squad one? Join squad one. Yep, Dragon. We'll, 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 we'll scoot to the left. Copy. Can we smoke their position where we do this push? Yes, yeah, I'm waiting for you to get into position. Copy, understand. I'm in a good spot. I can call it in. I just need three in position and I'll call in the uh, smoke. Wait. Copy. Oh no, they're dead. Wait, is forward dead? Yeah, forward's dead. Toaster got himself an awesome position here, man. Although he is looking like he's missing half his body. Because he is missing half his body. Half his body's clipped below the world. From your position? Sorry, I wasn't sure that was for me. Yes. Three, are you ready? I'm a west squad three is ready. Four is getting engaged directly on our location. Six, I'm gonna need you to drop the uh, the mortar barrage. I can't. I had to push back, and I don't have a good line of sight right now. Let's see, Hano gonna be able to put a mortar mark. Try to get to my guys because I'm cut off by a 50. Copy that. The smoke is coming in. Or requested. Yeah, he's coming in. Alright, here's the smoke on the Russian position. US is going to have to make the best of this. Four, I need you to disengage and go north now. Score four. God. They got to roll a vehicle too? That's funny. Zuba got pinged here. Still not exactly in cover. Fine, I'm fine. I'm rainbow and anvil, <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Yeah, they can I'm see me from the south, southeast, orange. I don't know where. Southwest, sorry. Moving back to a uh, better tree. Running. Yeah, try not to try not to wiggle too much, because then I think that's what he was trying to do as an opportunistic shot. Smoke okay. inbound. I still got one motor, uh, 81 millimeters, six round motors, standing by. The toaster just laying hate on these guys. He's got an unopposed position here. I'm gonna reload again. This is a pretty wide dispersion for this smoke barrage. Fob the Builder gets killed, and that's because Slater and Big Balls, Chris, freaking uh, have the elevation advantage on them. I don't think these guys were spotted. Meanwhile, U.S. are pushing in. They're using the best of the smoke. Looks like a lot of Russians have are actually going to make the most of it as well. They're going to push in as well. And then we're going. Trudy gets zipped. 
Frost kills Diamond. Free Stalker still running around here. It would be nice, uh, but we're trying to throw our elbow if I can to make that happen. So, you can just call it in. It's fine. Frost runs into the smoke. Just call it in. Nade out. What a great throw! It's gonna get two! Go in. Go, go. There's one on the other side of the sandbag. Nice, 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 nice. Great grenades. This assault is actually amazing. Hanu dies to Saint from behind. Saint gets killed in turn. This is bad for Russia. How did this go so poorly? This defense was so crazy. Oh, AP mines. They got AP mines on the point. Watch out. Alpha actually makes it all the way to the point. These guys are still sitting there doing nothing. Alpha... That was Jet. That's the best I can do for you, JJ. Frost, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm moving up now. I'm gonna go right past you, Jet. We got a guy coming from our south. That's the best defense I can do. Frost's getting shot. Looks like the East distraction is actually working out. Remember Three is still being held in defense. Frost dies! The shots from his north. Or his south, rather. Getting backwards. Alpha is now... Taking a little break. Joe is sitting on the gun looking at no one. Some Russian or some Americans pushing towards audacity here in this tree in this uh, sandbag. Blue and Matt. Meanwhile, Alpha is. I think he's just added uh, a call for mortars. Danger close mortars. Oh, this is danger close smoke. Yep, 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 yep. I'm following him. Holy fuck, there was a guy nice in sandbags kid. right here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey, coach, drop it and start going again. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Let me just get the shit out of my pants. Ooh, Kugel drops Alpha in the middle of camp. Numbers still going Russia's way, though. This extra smoke might allow the Eastern guys to get in this fight. Matt and Blue, Jericho, are going to use this opportunity to move close. Oh, it's kind of hard. I'm right next to you, guys. Okay. So they hear the engine. I think they might think that's the. What the fuck is this? I see the radio. It's right across 165, 165, south. Radio's radio. Like Google's camping the radio. Dude, I can't see shit, dude. Holy fuck. Oh my god, I'm dropping frames, too, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is the radio. Alright, three's coming in from the east. What do you want to do? What is holding? So, blue knows the radio's here. Kugel knows. Oh, Kugel has. Completely exposed position. Calling them in. I don't know if he can hear them move. There's a lot of sound around here. It's a murder hole sandbag inside. I don't know if that's behind it. Oh, they built a sandbag inside Lamau. Jesus Christ. Yep. There's a guy. Do you just So the East guys actually made it a chance to get in here. If he can't see me now, then there's no one in there. Because I... Oh, okay, there's a... <laughs> I'm in front of it. The Dude, there's, there's a murder hole sandbag to my southeast as well, right through some barbed wire. Um, if I die, it's probably to that. Are they going to try to make a push here? It's to our southwest up the I'm hill. Going down. To 10. Utopian is dead. Or dying. Now he's dead. That's command dead. The looks like the attack is mainly getting pushed in here. Uh, looks like all U.S. forces are either on the point or directly east of it. 
Russia need to consolidate. Slicetron. Oh, Kugel freaking stepped out behind a sandbag there. You got popped. S uh, Slicetron kills Slater. Charlie Fox holding position. I got sound bugged from Matt Honcho, Lamont. Toaster covering the entrance there, but actually makes it in. Oh, so they're adding, they threw a blue smoke. Oh, Fisco might have killed some people from behind here. That's because the guys came, uh, the guy, the observation post from up the hill came down. Lib is the only one left, and Command is closing his position. Down to, looks like, three remaining here. Can you get your medic in closer? Is that them popping Grenade. that much? Slicetron lives. He's gonna use the smoke to crawl in. Wait for them to come to us for a second. And then we'll try to dig down the radio. I'm on the radio. sure coming in from the west. I'm sure coming in from the west. One close. They're spamming the tent. Matt gets pinged through the tent. I got a bandage real quick. Stop digging the radio, pull security. Yep. They're just spamming the tent now. They know they're inside. Jericho gets flanked by Bradpo. Three, two, your medic to hurry the stuff in here. I'm trying. Lib is being ordered to move, but he gets jumped by Captain Morgan from behind. That's not happening. Down to two U.S. remains. Still dig this radio? No, nah, just full security. We gotta try to kill a couple. All right. They gotta hold this tent. I'll probably just shoot through the tarp and kill us here in a second. So many windows. Yeah. Looks like Russia winning here. Yeah, Copy, I'm watching the front door. Murder hole sandbag coming in clutch here. But, like Honcho thinks, he's still vulnerable to being shot through the tarp fence, or the tarp tent. Slice trying gets destroyed through the window by Charlie Foxtrot. Charlie looking for an angle on Matt Honcho, doesn't find it. Matt Honcho is now the only one left for US. Is he trying to knife me? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a C4 charge. Matt Honcho is going to die soon if he doesn't die. The 6 one or Captain Morgan. Bubba Booey. Oh, timing's off. And now. No. And now. Here we go. Oh, that wasn't a knife at you idiot. Uh, <laughs> that was fucking that. awesome. That was fucking awesome. And that's it. GG's called Russia Survive and Defend.